Would you prefer to have sweetest sex of your life or travel to Canada for one week vacation? Excuse me, who does sex help? Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Ian Oluwa. Um, I'm also known as the Interpret Dancer. So, welcome to see this vlog. Um, happy you could join me on this Q&A session. Um, yesterday I posted on my YouTube, um, rather I posted on my Instagram, Twitter and um, Facebook requesting for um, questions um, for this YouTube Q&A video. So um, some of you sent in questions and um, I have from Instagram, I have from Facebook and I have from Twitter. I'll be answering them in this video and I also will be eating jollof rice. Um, <laughs> And drinking water basically because water is life and i'm a water boy mm? so thank you for tuning in and um let's get right into the video first let me taste mm. i even forgot to put on mic let me go and wear mic i'm coming back Okay, so uh, mic is on. I'm wearing the mic now. So, if you've not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Hmm? And also, if this is your first time, welcome. I'm happy you could join me on my channel. And um, if you want to see more videos from me, please do want to subscribe and click on the notification button so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. I post recipes and lifestyle videos um i've not been doing food for a while because of corona and everything that happened before corona because the space i am currently in the lighting is quite poor so i can't film i didn't travel home i mean no, i didn't travel home like home when i was when corona started so bear with me i will start posting soon but let's get right into the question and answer segment of course, always take water. Let's go. I have a screen in front of me. Where I'll be reading some of your questions from. Um, okay, so the first question here is from Instagram. And um, this one says, have you stopped doing food? Okay, I've not stopped doing food. I still do food, but I do more of lifestyle now. Because, of course, many, many people know I run two blogs. One micro cruise zone and my personal blog, the Interpret Dancer, where I share food and lifestyle content on these two chan on these two um, platforms. I share food and lifestyle content. So I think I would say I'm doing more of lifestyle now currently. Um, basically, that is it. I think. Let me. What keeps you motivated? And have you stopped at a point? Hmm, what keeps me motivated? I think it's my passion. It's what I'm, it's what I'm passionate about. And um, what keeps me motivated is me keep doing what I love doing. If I continue this way, I wouldn't... Basically, that's what keeps me motivated. And um, seeing other people too, appreciating my work. I think the height of it was when randomly I just got nominated for an award. And I was like, okay, wow. So, and this was... Five years after I started my cruising. So I, I was like, okay, wait, how is this happening? Like, why am I being nominated? I do I didn't even like gain recognition like that, but I'm happy it came that way. Mm. So um have you ever stopped at any point? Yes, I stopped when um for like a year. I was not in the right frame of mind to continue the blog at that time. I just felt, I just didn't feel motivated at that point in time. But I came back, more like the bounce is back. I came back, um, it's going to six months now that I'm back full time into creating content for my cookery zone in particular because I know this person is asking for my cookery zone. Um, that is just it basically. Pick one hot abosi or cooking. I think. This person is asking 
definitely cooking because that is what i'm passionate about cooking anything food related it has to be cooking nothing like abosi please hmm? nothing like abosi i'm not interested <laughs> okay this next question why do things get to you so well i don't know where the angle this person is coming from but i'll answer i think he's trying to this person is asking based on um um maybe words getting to me and then i reply see my dear i've come to a stage in my life where i won't take any words that just come to me anyway see people see i'm always on the defensive side but i agree i agree i agree but the fact is people when you've been bullied over time and um you find it so hard to tolerate people who would always want to sorry you find it so hard to tolerate people who would want to um, insult you or bully you. So, if you don't personally, if I don't reply you, I won't feel good. I won't lie. I will keep thinking about it. But if I reply you and tell you, oh, what you did, I don't like it, or I call you, I feel good. But the fact is, it gets to me so well because I am human. Because I am human. And I don't think anybody will like it when they are talked down or talked to in a certain way they don't like. And I think that is how I'm going to answer that question. Um, how did you know you were going to do food reporting? Okay, food reporting. I just felt most things that were going on in the food industry um, in Nigeria and outside Nigeria were not being reported that the way I would see, the way most lifestyle contents are being reported. I feel I feel food was underreported, and I feel and I and I felt at that time when I started that most things were not things that I felt were supposed to be out there were not there. So that's why I started food reporting basically because I felt things were underreported. Um, okay, so we move to Facebook. Okay. Would you prefer to have, okay, this is weird. <laughs> Would you prefer to have sweetest sex of your life or travel to Canada for one week vacation? Wow. Wait, who is this person? <laughs> this person has to, no, I don't understand. Like, would you prefer to have sweetest sex of your life or travel to Canada for one week vacation? Excuse me. Who does sex help? Canada. Bring the ticket. Just bring it. I'm ready. One week vacation. I would love it. Absolutely. Please reach out to me. Hmm? One week vacation to Canada. I'm interested. Please. I'm very, very interested. It's forgotten now. Does it sense so. mm. As I was saying, sex does not help at this point. What, what will sex do? Not in the same place we do the sex. No. Canada. Hmm? God bless. The next question, and this is from Twitter. Do you, when do you plan to start your own restaurant? Okay. I hear this, I hear this every time. Even when I was still actively food blogging, people would say, oh, we want this, we want that. And I'm always like, I'm not into catering service. I rather recommend people, or I would tell, okay, this is where you can get what you want to do. But restaurant is not something you just dive into. It's not something you would just go in and see, I want to become a restaurateur. It doesn't work that way. I know many of us always think, oh, if you are into food, definitely you'll be doing catering service, you'll be doing food, um, restaurants, everything. But no, food is broad. Let's not always look at it from the angle of only always having restaurants. Always, fine, I may have restaurants in the future. Well, in the future, but presently it is not what i plan on doing it's not what i plan on doing and i don't i'm not sure if i'm even going to do it because i i get this question every time people keep asking are you going to create this i go see i cook i cook yes i know i cook i food blog i post recipes but that doesn't mean i would like to be doing delivery I like to be. I understand it is interesting. Those who do it, do it. 
but I do what I feel I like doing. See, there are various segments, as I said, it's a broad industry. Don't always limit it to people who are into restaurants, who are into this. Food industry is a very broad industry. I think you get. I might have a restaurant, maybe in the nearest future or very later, but presently, no, I don't think. Okay, um, the next question is from Instagram. The last one I took was from Twitter. Um, how do you cope creating content for two platforms? Okay, this person knows I, I, I do things up with Asa and um, my cook reason. Fine, what I do basically, how do I cope? I feel, well, it can be tiring at, at times, getting people to interview for my cookery zone, creating content, lifestyle content, food content. It's not easy, I won't lie. And I've had times where, I, where I'll break down and I'll be like, oh goodness, this post is not getting this like, this post is not getting this. But still, the motivation from people who, are, who really like what I do keeps me going. And... Um, that is just it basically how do i cope it's not it's not it's not easy i won't i won't lie to you it is not something that it's that is easy but i think it's just what we have to cope with it's really hard running two blogs yeah so that is it's not easy coping with creating content mm. I think that's all the questions basically others are related to all those other questions so i think you've enjoyed watching this if you have more questions drop them in the comment section under this video i'll be answering them and also don't forget to click on the subscribe button don't forget to click on the like button and of course follow me on all social media platforms at same so dancer is my handle and um till i come your way next time eat your love fries enjoy Life is too short to, to be to be disturbed about anything. I know it can be really hard. It can be really hard, but you just have to keep moving. Mm -hmm. Um bye bye. See you some other time.